Mass Logger No Medical Analysis Lecture Number Three YouTube Channel Mass Logger Will Award You Easy Mathematics Techniques Contact Number Email Address My Name Is Sayed Ahmed Shah I Am Prof Hasan Quest Nawab Shah Bismillah Rahman Rahim Lecture Number Three Topics Taylor Series Exercise Taylor Series F of X I Plus One is equal to f of xi plus f dash of xi divided by 1 factorial times h plus f double dash of xi divided by 2 factorial times h square plus dot 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 this box is times 10 20. Here is a graph of the Taylor series. If you are taking a single term f of xi plus uh, 1 approximately equal to f of xi the graph like this this is for the zero order function if you are taking the two terms f of xi plus 1 is approximately equal to f of xi plus f dash of xi times h this is a first order function if you are taking the Three terms f of xi plus 1 approximately equal to f of xi plus f dash of xi times h plus f double dash of xi divided by 2 factor times h square. This is for the second order function. And if you are taking the complete f of xi plus 1 complete series, yeah, you can say that you are taking the complete function. The f of x i plus 1 so you have a this graph this is called the true value so you can watch here uh, zero order is away from the true value first order is away but which is near as compared to the zero order to the true value second order is uh, near to true value as compared to this zero order and first order. When you are increasing the number of Taylor series term, then you are going to near the true value. Taylor series of expansion function, exponential functions here minus e raised to the power x. This is equal to minus bracket open 1 plus x plus x square over 2 factorial plus x cube over 3 factorial plus x four over 4 factorial plus x square over 5 over 5 factorial plus x square over 6 over 6 factorial plus x power, square over 7 over 7 factorial plus x square over power 8 over 8 factorial plus x square power 9 over 9 factorial plus x square power 10 over 10 factorial plus dot 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 this was in times 20 when we are taking the single term minus one here is the graph of the minus one this is for the zero order when you are taking two term minus one plus x then the graph is here this is for the second order then if you are taking the three terms minus one plus x plus x square or two factorial the graph is, is uh three terms is here this is called the uh, second order if you are taking the four term, the graph is here. This is for the third order. All this box is continuing. If you are taking the uh, eleven terms, then the graph is here. If you are taking the exact function, this is for the true value. When you are increasing the number term, you are watching here. We are going near to the exact value. The other series of trigonometric functions: sine, cosine, and tangent. Taylor series of inverse trigonometric functions sine inverse x, cos inverse x, and inverse x. Taylor series of logarithmic functions log x, log 1 plus x. Exercise calculate the following where f of x is given f of x approximately equal to x minus x cube over 3 factorial plus x power 5 over 5 factorial minus x power 7 over 7 factorial of f of 1. For f of x is equal to sin x, calculate 
error, absolute error, relative error, or absolute relative error. For the calculation of these four answers, first we will have to calculate the exact value or approximate value. Where we have a approximately symbol from which we can calculate the approximate value at x is equal to 1. Where we have a exact equity from which we can calculate the exact value at x is equal to 1. Solution. Putting x is equal to 1 in the expansion where we have a approximately equal to sign, then we have a result 0.84146. Exact value for exact value, we are putting x is equal to 1, then we can get the exact value. Error this is the difference between exact value and approximate value, substituting values, then we can get the error. Absolute error using the formula absolute error, then you can calculate the absolute error. Similarly, relative error, you can use the relative error formula, then you can calculate the relative error. Similarly, absolute relative error, you can cal uh, calculate the uh, absolute relative error by using the absolute relative error uh, formula. Exercise. The derivative of function f of x at a particular value of x can be approximately calculated by the formula f dash of x approximately equal to f of x plus h minus f of x divided by x. f dash of 2 for f of x is equal to 7 times of e to the power 0.5x and h is equal to 0.3. Calculate the following error, absolute error, relative error, absolute relative error. Here we have a approximately equal to sign from which we can calculate the approximate value at x is equal to 2. Here we have a greedy sign from which we can calculate the exact value at x is equal to 2. And the step size h is equal to 0.3. Solution approximate value at x is equal to 2 by using the approximately equal to formula here f dash of x approximately equal to f of x plus h minus f of x divided by x. Placing place of x is 2 here and h is 0 0.3 then we have a result f of 2 plus 0 0.3 minus f of 2 divided by 0 0.3 Simplified f of 2.3 minus f of 2 Row work the function f of x which is given. This is equal to 7 times of e raised to the power 0.5x. Putting in place of x is 2.3 first, or then second we will have to put 2. When we are putting 2.3, then we can get in place of x, so then we have a this result. Putting in place of x is 2, then we can get this result. Putting these values 7 times of e raised to the power 0.5. Uh, multiplied by 2.3 or 7 times of e power 0 0.5 multiplied by 2 in place of f of 2.3 or in place of f of 2. Simplified, then we have a error 10.265. Exact value at x is equal to 2, then differentiated this function at the edge of x this is equal to 7 times of 0 0.5 e raised to the power 0.5x then put x is equal to simplify then put x is equal to 2 after simplification we have f dash of 2 by exact formula 9.5140 using the formula error error is equal to exact value minus approximate value now substituting the exact value now substituting the approximate value then we have error error minus 0.75 Similarly, using the absolute error formula, exact value minus approximate value within the absolute. Now putting the values, then you can get the absolute errors. Relative error, error divided by exact value, putting the values, then we can get the relative error. Absolute relative error, putting the values, then we can get the absolute relative error. Exercise. Calculate the following where f of x is given. f of x approximately equal to 1 minus x square over 2 factorial plus x power 4 over 4 factorial minus x power 6 over 6 factorial of f of 1 for f of x is equal to cos x. 
Um, but first you will have to calculate the error, absolute error, relative error, absolute relative error. From which there we have a approximately symbol, you can calculate the approximate value from which we have, where we have a relative symbol, you can calculate the exact value. Then you can calculate the error, absolute error, relative error, or absolute relative error. Exercise calculate the following that f of x is given f of x approximately equal to this expansion of f dash of y. Then instead of f of x, we f of in previous we have here f of function, but here we have a f dash of y for f of x is equal to cos x. Now, first of all, you will have to take the derivative of this function or also the derivative of this function, then put the y. Or calculate the error, absolute error, relative error, absolute error, relative error. End of the lecture.